accounts vouchers. All business transactions are recorded and fully described in voucher. For convenience and standardization of records, organizations normally use a standard format of vouchers to write all the particulars in a systematic manner. Various documents related to the transactions are normally kept attached to the voucher. So the voucher becomes the complete and comprehensive record of all important details related to the transaction. In fact, academically all transactions, cash and or non-cash, may be recorded in journal voucher or journal book. However, for better control and division of accounting tasks to various persons, transactions are classified into several voucher types. Accordingly, different types of vouchers are used to record the transactions according to the nature of transaction. Basic voucher accounts voucher types Voucher types represent the vouchers of a specific type of transaction. For example, payment voucher type means all voucher in which money is involved. For convenience and error-free entry, tally vouch provides following basic pre-created accounts voucher types according to nature of transactions. The specific type of voucher is invoked through respective button. Broadly, vouchers may be classified as cash and non-cash vouchers. Cash vouchers involve movement and transactions of cash like contra, payment and receipt vouchers. Non-cash transactions are recorded through journal vouchers. Journal vouchers of non-cash transactions may involve both trade and non-trade transactions. Trade transactions are recorded in sales and purchase vouchers. Some organizations also use debit and credit note for goods return and other adjustments related to trade transactions. Non-trade journal transactions that is non-trade, non-cash are normally recorded in journal proper. In tally, we use following voucher types using buttons for each voucher type. F4 contra for money transfer that is cash withdrawal, cash deposit between two cash bank accounts. F5 payment, money payment in cash, check, bank debit that is outflow of cash. F6 received, money received in cash, check, bank credit, etc. that is inflow of cash. F7 journal for various accounting adjustments like depreciation, accrual of accruals, etc. F8 sales, all transactions of credit sales, cash sales, credit sales. Cash sales may also be recorded through sales voucher. F9 purchase all transactions of credit purchases. However, cash purchase may also be recorded through purchase voucher. Debit and credit note vouchers. Some organizations also use debit and credit note voucher for goods return and other adjustments in respect of sold and purchased goods. Transactions related to tra trade purchases only are recorded through sales, purchase, debit and credit note. Other non-trade sales purchases like machinery, furniture for use should be entered through journal voucher or other special subsidiary books. During voucher entry, tally verifies that total of all debits must be equal and the total of all credits in each voucher. The voucher cannot be saved if the total of debits is not equal to total of credits of the voucher.